We are actually going to meet a friend of mine that I've actually met a couple of months ago. We had a couple of meet updates, but with the weather, it put us behind. Thanks, Michigan. But you will see who it is. Stay tuned, guys. Let's go. What's going on, guys? It's Jake here. Welcome back again. Yes, I told you a little while ago I was coming to meet up with somebody. And I'll give you two guesses who it is. <laughs> One, two. Time's up, guys. Michigander man. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Geek to be with him. It's been a long time. We were supposed to hang out a couple of months ago, but Michigan weather, you know how it is. One day you get sunburnt. The next day you get frostbite, so let's get into it. Guys, we are here at Bobo, Brazil's community center. You've been here with me once before, and you are now here with me and Michigander, man. First time That's being right. here, guys. Heck yeah, this place is absolutely amazing and has so much history. Definitely go back in my other videos, you'll see the POW. And this one coming out is going to be Bobo, Brazil, and with my... Definitely, yeah. All the glass broken out, and I love those old doors they got there, man. Yeah, that's cool. Those are pretty wild. Really cool building, guys. Love the architecture. Architecture. You know, you know the word I'm trying to get there. The original wood doors. These are cool. It says ring bell. I don't see a bell. Anybody see a bell? Throw it down in comments. <laughs> this is a really cool sign, guys. It's sad that it's made out of wood. I really would like to see something, you know, made out of granite. Something in this man's name. He has done so much for this community. The kids. Professional wrestling. Period. You are a legend. A legend is a thing of the past, and that's what's going to be Brazil. A thing of the past when I finish with you. Real. You're gone, Brazil. Thing of the past. You know, I love to have this man talk. He talked just like a man I know they call Jerry Valian. You know, the, the Valians is three of those guys. Bobby Coat, he done giant up with the Valians. They always talk about how tough they are, how hard they can punch, how good a wrestler they are, especially Jerry. Now you got Bobby Cole talking the same way. I'm going to tell you four guys something right now. Do you know where I come from? I come from a little small town by the name of Benton Harbor, Michigan. You know what street I live on? I live on Tuff Street. Do you know where I live? Right at the very bottom of that street but I don't go around bragging about how tough I am. You know, if I think Brazil can take care of himself. Now they're talking about the silver I'm wearing around my waist. I am wearing the belt, but it belongs to the fans. Those nice fans out there keep cheering me on and that will make me hold the belt for a long time to come. Fans, I love every one of you. It's no Bobby Coat, or no Jerry Valian, or no one else is going to take the belt from Brazil as long as I have you fans in my corner. And I know you're in my corner 100%. So every time you see Brazil wrestle someplace, come out and give me that support that I need. Houston Harris was born July 10th, 1924 and passed away on January 20th, 1998. He was an American professional wrestler, better known by his ring name, Bobo Brazil, credited with breaking down barriers of racial segregation in professional wrestling 
Harris is considered one of the first successful African American professional wrestlers. Houston Harris was born in Little Rock, Arkansas, but later lived in East St. Louis, Illinois, and Benton Harbor, Michigan. He played baseball and worked in a steel mill. Harris was trained by Joe Sabaldi after meeting him at matches at the Naval Armory in Baton Harbor. Sabaldi originally named Harris Boo Boo Brazil, the South African giant, but a promoter misprinted his first name as Bobo Brazil in an advertisement and it stuck. Early in his career, some wrestling promoters would match Brazil against fellow African-American wrestlers, including Ernie Ladd and Abdul the Butcher. Fans clamored to see Brazil face opponents to any type, and Brazil would have many matches with competitors, such as Killer Kalski, Dick the Bruiser, Johnny Valentine and the Sheik, who feuded with Brazil over the course of several decades. These and other rivals would all fall victim to Brazil's finishing maneuver, the Coco Butt. Here right now as the Sheik gets back into the ring and takes a good shot from Bobo. Bobo using that head of his to advantage. Here's the Sheik wrapped up in the ropes right now. Brazil also once wrestled Bill Miller to a draw and challenged Bruno San Martino for the WWWF World Heavyweight Championship in a battle of two top babyface competitors. On October 18, 1962, Brazil made history be by becoming the first African American to win the NWA World Heavyweight Championship by defeating Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. This, dis this distinction is usually given to Ron Simmons the first recognized African-American world championship after winning WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Although Brazil initially refused the title mm -hmm. because of an injury the Rogers had claimed to have, Brazil was awarded the title the next day after doctors had found nothing wrong with Rogers. However, this title change is not recognized by NWA. On October 9th, 1970, Brazil and El Mongol defeated Mr. Ito and the Great Ada in the first racial mixed match in Atlanta, in Atlanta history. Brazil served as a mentor to wrestler Solomon Rocky Johnson. Brazil's manager was James Doodley, the first African American to be in charge of a major arena in the United States. Doodley would run to the ring waving a towel as Brazil followed behind. Brazil retired in 1993 after a four-decade career. His last official match was in Chicago, Illinois against Kelly Kaniski, son of rival Gene Kaniski. Brazil was inducted to the WWF Hall of Fame in 1994 by Ernie Ladd. The following year, Brazil inducted Ladd into the WWF Hall of Fame. After retiring from wrestling, he ran a restaurant. Harris had six children, 
Bobo Brazil was married to Kathleen Wembley Brazil, former lady wrestler from Columbus, Ohio. They had one son, Randall Brazil. Bobo's grandson is Harris Brazil, son of Randall Brazil. They all reside in northern New Jersey. Well, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking around. Sorry about the couple of stutters that I had in the video here, but I guess it is what it is. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and much love.